Welcome, my name is Sarah, and this is a rocket-inspired practice uh, going along with rocket two, so back bends and hip openers. There'll definitely be some arm strengthening in this practice also. So come to a standing position at the top of your mat. You could stand with your feet either together or apart. Line up your heels with second and third toe and equalize the pressure between your heels and the balls of your feet. Pull up on your thighs, lift the heart up, and then join your hands palm against palm at the center of your chest. We'll invoke our practice with three ohms. As we chant the ohm, feel the vibration in the center of your chest. Eyes closed, look up at the space in between your eyebrows gently. Surya Namaskar A. Inhale, reach up. Maybe look at your thumbs. Exhale, fold. Little bend in the knees. Heels light. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plank pose. And remember if you get tired or you're still working on the arm strength, use the knees. Shoulders past the wrist. Bend the elbows backwards by the rib cage. Lower slowly onto your stomach. Inhale, cobra pose, squeeze the shoulder blades together. Exhale, press back, downward facing dog. Four breaths. Press into your pointer finger knuckles, flatten the palms. Three more breaths, wrap the outer upper arms back, feel the shoulder blades widen. Two more breaths, bend your knees, try to get your butt up on the ceiling so you get this diagonal length in the spine. And take one more pure inhale. Exhale, bend your knees and step, or if you want to jump, push off the feet, lift the butt, soft landing. Inhale, come up halfway. Exhale to fold. Inhale, rise, reach up, maybe look at your thumbs, and exhale, hands to the heart. Again, inhale, reach up, look at the thumbs. Exhale, fold, looking at the tip of the nose. Inhale, halfway lift, look at your third eye, space between the eyebrows. Exhale, if you jump back, bend the elbows right to chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog, look at the space between the eyebrows. Exhale, downward dog, looking for your navel. Inhale, one, two, three, four. Exhale, one, two, three, Four, inhale, two, two, three, four, exhale, two, two, three, four, inhale, three, two, three, four, exhale, three, two, three, four, inhale, four, two, three, four, and exhale, four, two, three, on four, bend the knees, step or jump, top of the mat, inhale, halfway, look at the space between the eyebrows, exhale, fold, looking for your navel, inhale, stand up, look at your thumbs, exhale, hands to the heart, samastitihi, two more, inhale, go up, look at the thumbs, exhale, fold, little bend in the knees, heels light, Inhale, halfway, tighten the belly muscles. Exhale, chaturanga, press into all 10 fingers. Inhale, back bend, widen the collarbones. Exhale, downward dog. And now take four breaths. 
and make your inhale the same length as your exhale. So counting to four and exhaling for four. Breathe into your lower rib cage. After the last one, you bend your knees and step or lift the butt, press into the fingers, inhale halfway, exhale to fold, inhale rise, reach up, exhale hands to the heart. Okay, last one, inhale reach up, look at the thumbs, exhale fold, looking at the nose, inhale halfway lift, looking at your third eye. Exhale, chaturanga, looking at your nose. Inhale, upward dog, third eye. Exhale, downward dog, navel. For four. Three. Two. And one. Bend the knees, step or spring, top of the mat. Inhale, halfway. Exhale to fold. Inhale, stand tall. Exhale, hands to the heart. Surya Namaskar B. Inhale, chair pose. Brush the floor of the fingertips, look at your thumbs. Exhale, keep the knees bent, touch the floor, then maybe straighten the legs. Inhale, come up halfway. Exhale, vinyasa. Inhale, back bend. Pull the belly in for support. Exhale, downward dog. Step your right foot next to the right thumb. Pivot the back heel down. Inhale up, warrior one, looking at the thumbs. Exhale, chaturanga, looking at the tip of your nose. Inhale, back bend. Exhale, downward dog. Step the left foot next to the left thumb. Back heel comes down. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, chaturanga. Keep pressing into all 10 fingers. Inhale, back bend. Exhale, downward dog. And then pause. Four breaths. For three. Looking for your belly button for two. Widen the shoulders. Bend your knees, step or spring, top of the mat. Inhale, halfway. Exhale to fold. Inhale, chair, hips down, arms up. Exhale, samastitihi, standing, equal weight in your feet. Inhale, chair. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, vinyasa. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward dog, right foot through. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward dog, left foot through. Inhale, warrior one. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, back bend. Exhale, downward dog. Four breaths. Inhale to a count of four. Exhale for a count of four. Three. Two. Inhale, bend the knees. Exhale, step or float, top of the mat. Inhale, halfway. Exhale to fold. Inhale, chair. Exhale, samastitihi. Two more. Inhale, chair, look at your thumbs. Exhale, fold, looking at the tip of the nose. Inhale, halfway lift, third eye. Exhale, chaturanga, looking at your nose. Inhale, upward dog, third eye. Exhale, downward dog. Step your right foot through. Inhale, look at your thumbs overhead. 
Exhale, chaturanga, looking at your nose. Inhale, upward dog, third eye. Exhale, downward dog, left foot through. Inhale, reach up, look at the thumbs. Exhale, chaturanga, looking at your nose. Inhale, upward dog, third eye. Exhale, downward dog. Four breaths. When you start feeling tired, concentrate on the inhales. If you feel anxious, like maybe it's not hard enough for you yet, focus on the exhales. Inhale, bend the knees. Exhale, step or lift the butt. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, fold. Inhale, chair, look at the thumbs. Exhale, samasthiti, standing. Okay, last one. Inhale, chair. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, vinyasa. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. Right foot through. Big inhale, lift up. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. Left foot through. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, chaturanga. Lower push up. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. Pause here. Hollow out your low belly. So pubic bone kind of lifting up, low abs tone. Breath spreading in lower rib cage. Inhale, bend your knees. Exhale, step or hop, top of the mat. Inhale, halfway. Exhale to fold. Inhale, chair, hips down, arms up. And then exhale, samasthiti. Stand with your arms by your sides. And take a moment to feel that sun energy in your body. Radiant heat from your center up into your chest. Okay, chair pose again, hips down and arms up, and this time interlace your 10 fingers and press your palms forward. Draw your front ribs in, scoop the tailbone under, arms back by the ears if possible, and if it feels okay on your shoulders, and tip your body over to the right into a side stretch. Sink the body weight into your heels. Take an inhale, and then come back into the center. Stretch over to your left. Tighten the belly muscles, draw the front ribs in. Take an inhale, exhale back into the center. Bend the knees even deeper, stomach to the thighs, chest to the knees, arms above the ears if possible for four. Ujjayi breathing, small constriction in the throat for three. Toes are light, forehead relaxed for two. And then on one, fold forward. Feel that relief in your arms and your legs. Lift your heels up, come into a little squat. Separate your feet, start to press your heels to the floor and you can walk your arms forward and stretch out your back here. Otherwise, crow pose. Hands, shoulders width apart, knees squeeze in around the outer upper arms and tip forward. If you're nervous, Keep your toes on the floor. Your arms are just like chaturanga. If it feels okay on the body, squeeze the inner thighs towards each other. Four. Look at one spot with your eyes. Three. Breathe as well and as clear as you can. For two. And then on one, push into your hands, squeeze your knees in, and send the legs back. Chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. Inhale, the right leg up. Exhale, bend your knee, roll open your hip. If you wanted to flip your dog, you could always pivot on the ball of the left foot, land your right toes behind you, lift the pelvis, and stretch open your chest. On your next inhale, reach your right leg straight back. Exhale, step the right foot next to your right thumb. 
pivot the back heel down. Inhale up, warrior one, looking at your thumbs. Exhale, warrior two. Line up your front heel with your back arch and gaze out over your front middle finger. Four breaths. Tighten the low belly muscles. Uddiyata Bandha. Keep the eyes steady. Back arm is in line with the front arm. Reverse warrior. Flip your front palm. Reach up to the ceiling with the right arm. Bend your right knee in the center of your front heel again. Four breaths here. Breathe so deep, it changes your consciousness. Back into warrior two. Squeeze your front leg straight as you inhale, reach out over your right leg. Exhale, triangle pose. If it's okay with your neck, look at your lifted thumb. This is very easy for your body. Take your peace sign fingers around the inside of your big toe and then push your toe down as you pull up on the toe to open your chest. If this is difficult for your body, lift a little higher on the leg. Mini bend through the front knee. From here, we're taking balancing half moon. So bend through your right knee. Line up your right hand with the pinky toe side of your foot. Slide the back foot up about halfway. Slide your hand forward about a foot and a half. Balancing half moon pose. Your inner right thigh is forward. Left foot flexed up in the air, chest open. Probably just about two more breaths. From here, we're gonna come into a supported warrior three. So go ahead and take your right, your left hand down to the floor and square your hips to the floor. So you've got your fingers tented on the mat. You can always have as much of a bend through your right knee as you need. Revolved half moon, reach your right arm up in the air, take the twist. If it's okay with your neck, look at your lifted thumb. Three more breaths. Squeeze your left glute. Tighten the belly muscles. Okay, right hand comes down, bend through your right knee, step your left foot back about three to four feet and squeeze your right leg straight. Pyramid pose, transitioning into a revolved half moon. So you can tent your left hand near your right foot, right arm reaches up, maybe your hand, your left hand goes outside of the foot. If you have low back pain, let the pelvis be natural. If you need a deeper twist, level the pelvis to the floor or the ceiling, and then tighten the belly muscles and twist against the level pelvis. Take one more breath. Float your hand down. Come into upward push-up plank pose, and vinyasa. Exhale, lower. Inhale, back bend. Exhale, downward dog. If it's available to your body, lower both of your forearms gently to the floor at the same time. And if that seems kind of sketchy, lower your knees, lower the forearms down. Lift your hips in the air, dolphin pose. Now, I've heard people tell me, oh, dolphin hurts my shoulders. But what I notice they're doing is they're really trying to push back. So if that happens to you, just focus keeping your shoulder heads over your elbows and you don't have to really like push back and try to stretch your shoulders. Lift your right leg up in the air and level your pelvis to the floor. Look between your forearms, come up high onto the ball of your left foot and do a little jump. Only jump as high as feels comfortable for your body. Maybe you catch some air, push into your forearms, lift your body up, Tighten the belly muscles. Get your toes up towards the ceiling. And when you've had enough, rest in child's pose or take a vinyasa. Downward facing dog. Inhale your left leg up. 
Exhale, bend the knee, roll open the hip. You can flip your dog, landing your left toes behind you, lifting your pelvis, stretching open the chest. Take a breath. Return back into a down dog splits. Inhale and exhale, step the left foot through, back heel down. Inhale, warrior one. Exhale, warrior two on the left. And then adjust your feet. So you got your front heel in line with the back arch. Lift through the front hip bones. Gaze out over your front hand. Four breaths. If you ever feel like you need something in the practice, come back to the feeling of your breath. Unless you need a break, then you take a break. Flip the front palm, reach up to the ceiling with your left arm, down the right leg with the right arm, reverse warrior, four breaths. But sometimes we'll feel, oh, I need a harder practice or I need an easier practice. And that's just the craving of the mind. And we're trying to move past the craving of the mind to go to the breath, to go to the source, pure consciousness. Pure consciousness is the goal. One more breath. Return into warrior two. Tighten the front leg straight. Roll your inner left thigh forward. Reach out over your leg. Triangle pose. And if it's okay with your neck, look at your lifted thumb. Uddiyata Bandha. Mula Bandha. Squeeze your heels towards each other. Squeeze the pelvic floor. And then Jarlan Dala Bandha. Nice long neck. Probably about two more breaths here. Balancing half moon, look down at the floor, bend through your left knee, line up your left hand with the pinky toe side of the left foot. Flex your right foot, heel in line with the hip. If you look down, you're able to see your toes. Lift up through your chest, four breaths. Only look at one thing. And then supported warrior three, both hands down, level the pelvis, lengthen your spine. Remember, you can have as deep a bend in the left knee as you need. Right hand down, left arm up, revolved half moon, gaze up at the lifted hand, four breaths. Squeeze through your right butt cheek to lift the hips level. Hand comes down, bend through your left knee, land your right toes behind you. Have some distance between the legs, like uh, three, four feet. Spine's halfway lift feeling, right hand tense near the left foot, left arm goes up, maybe gaze at your lifted left thumb, and four ujjayi breaths. Level the pelvis to the floor if it's okay with your low back. Open across your chest, your shoulders. And then hand comes down to the floor. Bend your front knee, plank, and vinyasa. Inhale, back bend. Exhale, downward dog. Again, lower your forearms down to the floor, both at a time, one at a time or lower the knees, lower the forearms. The hardest variation is to keep your forearms parallel. A little bit easier bringing the thumbs to touch. Walk your toes up to your elbows. Now lift your left leg, square the hips to the floor. High up on the ball of the right foot. Look at one spot between your forearms. Do a little jump. Do a bigger jump. And then breathing. Eight ujjayi breaths. When you come out, you can pop forward from dolphin into chaturanga or rest in child's pose 
but then down dog, walk your hands to your feet, feet separated, hips width, peace sign fingers around the big toes, inhale halfway, exhale fold, bend the elbows out to the sides, look at your nose, rib cage flaring, tighten the belly muscles, inhale halfway, exhale slide your hands under your feet, toes tickling the wrist, inhale look up, exhale fold forward. Look at your nose. And now release the grip of your feet. Walk your hands forward until your palms are flat. Lift your right leg up in the air, stack your arm bones, and we're gonna switch the legs. So you're gonna bring your right leg up into the air and then land the right foot down. So you do a little switch kick. Walk your hands forward, stack the arms, and now we're gonna switch. So you're gonna fling the right leg, land the left leg, walk the hands forward, fling the right leg, and switch. So keep going, switching your legs in the air, and then we'll meet up in a forward fold at the top of the mat. Catch hold of your hips. Inhale, come up halfway. And exhale the rest of the way up. Take a giant step out with your right leg. Parallel your feet. Have your two heels in one line. Inhale, lift your chest. Exhale, hinge your pelvis forward and touch the floor with your hands. If you can't touch the floor, make your legs wider apart. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, fold. Walk the heel to hand back in line with the heel to feet. Bend the elbows in like chaturanga. If it's okay with your neck, you can put your head on the floor, shoulders away from the ears, and lift the legs up in the air for tripod headstand. Keep lifting the shoulders away from the ears. Keep pushing into your hands. Lower down slow. Inhale halfway. Exhale, hold the hips, come up the rest of the way. Inhale your arms out to the sides. Exhale, interlace your hands behind you. Squeeze the shoulder blades in, stretch your chest. Take an inhale and exhale. Hinge your pelvis, stretch forward. Guide the arms up over the head. If you want a little bit of inner groin work, you can always bend one knee, keeping the other leg straight, and then switching out your sides. Take one more breath. Bring your hands to your low back, hands down to your toes. Inhale, come up halfway, peace sign finger around the toe, and exhale, fold, bend the elbows out to the sides, head to the floor. Three more Ujjayi breaths. Body weight in the balls of your feet. Contract your thighs. And then let go of your toes and start to walk your feet apart. So you're coming into a sidewise split. Four breaths. Just go as far as feels okay on your body. Look at your nose or close your eyes. And now pick up your heels and pivot all 10 toes to face your right leg. Set the left knee down, half splits on the right or slide the foot forward, moving towards full splits. You can look at your toes or close your eyes. Four breaths. Level the pelvis as much as you can to the short end of the mat. Okay, and then you might have to slide your legs in a little closer. Pivot, quarter turn, pivot again. Now you're facing your left leg, squeeze the left leg straight. Half splits, or if you're ready for a full pose, slide your heel forward, level the pelvis, look at one spot with your eyes. 
or you draw your breaths. Breathe into the tight spot in your leg. And then from here, push into your hands, widen your legs into a straddle. And if it's, if you feel your pelvis move back like this, sit on top of a pillow or something. Hold on to the floor behind you, tented fingertips, lift the chest. You can also walk your hands forward. If it's very easy for the body, hold on to the feet. Push the feet away as you bring your chest to the floor. And three more Ujjayi breaths. Lift your spine up, bring your legs a bit closer, hands frame your right leg, push into the floor, lift your right leg up in the air, set it down, lift your left leg up in the air, set it down, push into your hands, lift both legs up for three, for two, and then one, lower down. Now hands framing the other leg, lift up through your left leg, Lift up through your right leg, push your hands into the floor, lean over your leg, lift the butt, lift your leg, lift the leg, lift both for three, for two, and then if you can get your leg back into Chaturanga, go ahead. Otherwise, find your body in a plank, inhale plank, exhale lower, Chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog or cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog pose. Little donkey kicks. So try to kick your own butt three times before making your way to the top of the mat. So you can kind of shift your shoulders forward, push off your feet, try to kick your own butt, down dog, shoulders over your wrist, kick the own butt, and last one. If you can balance in a handstand, go for it forward fold at the top of the mat. Inhale, halfway. Exhale to fold. Inhale, stand up, stretch up. Exhale, hands to the heart. Give yourself one pure breath. Bend your right knee and catch hold of your right foot behind you. Level your pelvis, scoop the tailbone under, reach up through your left arm, dancer's pose. Four Ujjayi breaths. Let the right shoulder relax back with the strength of your kick. Little bend through the standing knee if it feels better. And then when you come out, look at one spot straight ahead of you, hug your right knee into your chest, Take peace sign fingers around the right big toe. Squeeze the legs straight. Four. Three. Keep squeezing the left butt cheek. Lift the spine up two. And then leg goes, right leg goes out to the right. Keep the pelvis square. Look over your left shoulder. Three. Two. And then bring your right leg back into the center. Hold on to the outside edge of your right foot with your left hand. Reach your right arm behind you. Four. Gaze at the back thumb. Three. Two. On one, hold on to your hips. Leg is straight. Four. You're almost there. Look at your toes. Three. Two. And then on one, set the leg down. That was a lot, right? Feel free to give it a little shake. And then let's do the other side. So body is getting stronger. Look at one spot, bend your left knee, catch your left foot, right arm reaches up, dancer's pose. Look at one spot with the eyes. Breathe into the entirety of your rib cage. If you're ready to go deeper, kick a little higher, stretch a little higher. Have a really relaxed face. Okay. Keep staring at that one spot straight ahead of you. Hug your left knee into your chest. Peace sign fingers around the left big toe. Right hand to the right hip. 
kick forward for you jay breaths if you can plug the left shoulder blade into your back pelvis level as possible fresh breath left leg out to the left Keep the tailbone sort of scooped under, like sometimes I see people do this pose, the butt sticking out. Whoa. Then you kind of scoop it under, look at over your right shoulder. Okay, bring your leg back into the center, hold on to the outside edge of your left foot with your left hand, reach your, or excuse me, outside of the left foot with your right hand, reach your left arm behind you, look at your thumb, four breaths. Dancing Shiva pose. Okay, and then this is the hardest part, but you've got this. Hold on to your hips. Look at your toes. Two more breaths. Okay, and then sit the leg down and give it a little shake. Bring your big toes to touch, heels in line with second and third toe, and chair pose. Hands to the center of the chest, lean forward, and twist over to your right. Stay here or lift up your heels, come into a little squat. You can stay here or Place your hands on the floor to your right. Bend your elbows in like chaturanga. You can sit down on both of your arms and then walking the toes forward and bringing the legs out. Four, three, two. Return back into chair pose. Take an inhale and exhale. Twist the other way. So you're gonna hook your right elbow on the outside of your left leg. Remember, you can stay here. This is a good pose. Or lift your heels, squat down, squatting twist, Pashasana prep. And then you can also take the arm balance. So you make sure your leg is on your upper arm bone, hands plant down, bend the elbows, lean forward. So the legs can be on one arm or both arms. Four, three, two, and then on one, return back into chair pose. Take an inhale, exhale, fold, vinyasa, exhale, lower, chaturanga, inhale, upward dog or cobra, exhale, downward dog. If you're going to jump your legs through your arms, keep your right shin bone back, send the left leg forward. If you're like, what the heck? Then you're gonna lower your knees to the floor and then you'll lean on to your right hip briefly so you can extend your left leg out. So we've got our right leg tucked back, left leg is out. From here, lean back and lift your left leg up. If this feels fine for your body, you're gonna hold on to your foot, left foot in both hands. And if that feels easy, you're gonna take your left hand, palm out, and catch hold of your right wrist. Pulling your left leg towards you with the arms so you can lift the spine a little taller. Look at your toes and take four breaths. Kranchasana, hair and pose. And then to come out of this pose, for a moment, fly it so you can strengthen your hip flexors. Then plant your left foot down and then lean forward so your left knee is on your upper left arm bone. Curl your back right toes under and squeeze your right leg straight. So you're sort of in a, it's like a down dog chaturanga hybrid. And then you lift the left toes up. And if you lean forward and lift the butt up, your right leg is gonna follow. So you're in a one-legged crow, and then send the left foot back first. Inhale, back bend. Exhale, downward dog. And then jumping the legs through, left leg is tucked back, right leg is forward. And if it gets confusing, 
just sit down and move your left leg behind you. Now, if this is sensitive for your body, you might stay here. If it feels okay, you're gonna lean back and lift the right leg up, holding on to your right foot with both hands or right palm face out, catch hold of the left wrist. Look at your toes for you, J breaths. For hip strength, stomach strength, fly the leg, set your foot down, hands plant on the floor, maybe like a foot in front of your legs. Your right knee is in your right armpit, and then you can curl your back left toes, lift the hips up in the air. So it's like down dog with bent arms, chaturanga arms, and your right knee is on your upper right arm. And then you start to tip forward, look at one spot, and the left leg might lift up in the air. And then as you're ready, throw the right leg back. Inhale, back bend. Exhale, downward dog. Jump your knees very softly in between your thumbs. Separate your feet and sit between your heels. And you might be up here, or you can walk yourself back for your jai breaths. Catching opposite elbows overhead. Heroes pose, a little bit of rest. And then slowly come up, pushing into your elbows, tripod headstands. So if you're not doing tripod headstands, interlace your hands, come into a dolphin pose so you can strengthen your arms. But otherwise, you're kneeling Hands go by your knees, bend your elbows in like chaturanga, top of the head to the floor, curl your toes under, lift your hips up, walk your toes towards your thumbs, push into your elbows and flex your feet so you float the legs up. Four ujjayi breath. And then to come out of the pose, you're gonna pike. So bring your legs to a halfway, push into your hands, throw the legs back, head forward, chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, forward into plank. Exhale, lower all the way onto your belly. Reach your arms behind you, interlace your hands, maybe your non-dominant grip. Squeeze shoulder blades, lift chest, lift legs, four. Look at your cheeks. Three. Breathing for two. Lift the legs a little higher. One. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. Inhale, plank. Exhale, lower. Bend your knees. Catch hold of your feet or your ankles. And kick back. Four. Three, two, and one. Hands by low ribs. Inhale, King Cobra. Shoulder blades down the back and together. And then from there, inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. Gently jump your knees behind your wrists. Come to standing on your knees. Hold on to your low back, squeeze shoulder blades in, lift the chest up. Maybe you reach down, catch your heels. Keep lifting the heart highest point. Look forward, up and back, four breaths. Camel pose. Hold on to your spine. Lift yourself up, plank, exhale, lower. Inhale, back bend, exhale, downward dog. Again, gently jump the knees by your wrist. Come on up, come. <laughs> now I can't talk after that camel. Come on up, and then if that felt hard for you, hold on to your back and stretch or little bit more intense and only do this if you have a really strong back 
is you're gonna interlace your hands, release your index, cross your thumbs, reach your arms up, and then look at the heel of your hands and start to reach back with your arms. If you can, you're gonna touch the floor with your pointer finger. If your back hurts, don't go that far, but otherwise, tug the tailbone, squeeze the back muscles, four breaths. Slowly, as you're ready, you're gonna come up and vinyasa. Exhale to lower. Inhale, back bend. Pretty open now. Exhale, downward facing dog. Lower your forearms to the floor. Coming back into dolphin, you can stay here or lifting up your favorite leg, bend your knee and do a little jump. With the bent, like my right knee is bent, I'm gonna try to kick my left seat with my left heel. And this is gonna put me into a back bending pose in the forearm stand. Maybe I bring my big toes to touch. Maybe I start to look forward. Yep. When you've had enough, find child's pose. Okay, Lift. we're not done yet. Lift your spine up so you're sitting back at your heels and then lean both of your hips over to the right. So your right knee is bent back, or excuse me, you lean your hips to the right so your left knee is bent behind you. And then take your right foot and either place the sole of your right foot on the inside of your left thigh or take hold of your foot and put it into a half lotus pose. We're gonna twist to the right, right hand behind the back, left hand catches the outside of your right leg. If it's easy for your body, hold on to your right foot with your right hand and take your left hand palm facing out and tuck it underneath your knee. Gaze over your right shoulder for you, Jai breaths, Bravadrasana. Okay, come back into the center, lean back on your hips so you can squeeze the legs up, Navasana boat pose. Let's do a couple Navasana lowers and lifts to strengthen the core. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. So 10. You can look at your toes or close your eyes. Nine. Eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and then one more little squeeze. Okay, set the feet on the floor. Right knee bends behind you. Sole of the left foot can touch your right knee or you can pick up your foot and put it onto your hip crease. Reach around your back, catch hold of the left foot with your left hand, right hand, palm face out under the knee, gaze out over your left shoulder for you, Jai breath. Return back into the center. Lean back on your hips, both legs out, Navasana. This time, hands in a prayer out in front of you, both hands over to your right. Inhale, exhale, lower, low boat to the right, and then come back up. Go over to your left. Take an inhale, exhale, lower. Inhale, back up. Exhale, over to your right. Inhale, lower, exhale, lift back up. Inhale, left, exhale, lower, inhale, up, exhale, over to the right. Let's just do one more. Lower, lift, left, lower, and lift. And then cross your ankles, 
roll over your feet and come into a forward fold position. Lift your right leg up in the air, standing splits pose. So the left leg is down, the right leg is up. Your palms are flat on the floor. So whatever distance you need between your left foot and your hands is perfect. But if you can get it even closer, try to get it a little closer. Level the pelvis to the floor. Stack your arm bones, push the floor away. Do a little jump. Then you're like, oh, okay, that didn't seem scary. Bigger jump, right? And then if you're ready, or if you have a wall, then you might catch the balance. Eight breaths. Vinyasa sequence as you're ready. Downward facing dog pose, inhale, right leg up, and exhale, half pigeon. Right knee behind the right wrist, walking the left leg back as you inhale, lift the chest up, and exhale, fold over your leg, four breaths. Lift your spine up, come into an upward push-up plank pose, and then you can take a vinyasa. Downward dog, inhale, left leg up, and exhale, left knee behind your left wrist, walking the right leg back, inhaling, getting in a little back bend, and exhale, lower onto the forearms. Look at one spot with your eyes, four breaths, or you can close your eyes. And then go ahead and Push the floor away, come into an upward push-up plank, and then hold this upward push-up plank and bring your right knee to your right tricep, set it back, left knee to left tricep, set it back. Inhale, right knee up, set it back, left knee up, set it back, inhale, knee up, exhale back, inhale, other knee up, exhale back. Let's do three more on the right. Three more on the left. For two, you can also do this on the forearms if the wrists are hurting. Last one. You could do a vinyasa from here, otherwise skip it, press into downward facing dog, and then walk your hands back to your feet. If your wrists are sensitive, give them a little swirl. And then, standing splits, so hands go however far in front of you as you need. Lift the left leg up, level the pelvis to the floor. Look at one spot between your thumbs. Do a little jump, maybe a bigger jump. Eight breaths. And then we'll meet up, forward fold, vinyasa sequence. Exhale, lower, chaturanga. Inhale, back bend. Exhale, downward dog. Eyes forward, bend your knees, send the legs through the arms. Paschimottanasana, we're almost there. Walk your hips back, flex your toes. Inhale, stretch up. Exhale, hinge, stretch forward. Four breaths. If your back hurts right now, keep your spine long. If it's easy, try to touch your chin to your shin bones. And 
And now come on up. If you have a sensitive neck, or if you're on your cycle, let's say, you can put your uh, hips to a wall and put your legs up a wall for this next section. Otherwise, finishing poses. Shoulder stand. Don't look side to side. Just look up at the ceiling. Roll back, hold on to the hips, lift the legs up. Eight breaths, gazing at the navel or your toes. Legs go behind you, toes can touch the floor. Interlacing hands, plow pose, eight breaths. Look at the space in between your eyebrows, closing the eyes. Let everything slow down. Lift the legs back up. Butterfly pose or lotus pose. And then knees go by your ears. Death person's pose. You can keep holding onto your back or hold onto your feet. And then fish pose, roll yourself down. Slide your hands under your seat. Heels can touch, feet flopped open like a fish's tail, or you can have your lotus. Lift the chest up, and if your head doesn't touch the floor, wiggle your hips back until it does. Close your eyes, and look up at the space in between your eyebrows. To come out of this pose, lifting your head up, hug your knees into your chest, and then rock up and down the spine. You can also do a reverse somersault here if you have the room and you know how to do it, and you come up, headstand practice. So you can also, if you're at home, do this against a wall. Keep the shoulder heads away from your ears, and make sure your elbows stay in. So the tendency when we fall out is the elbows go out like this. So keep your elbows in, elbows in line with your shoulders. Put your head on the floor where um, you'd put headphones. Curl the toes under, push into your elbows, shoulders away from the ears, walk the toes up, float the feet up in the air. Headstand practice. Look at the space in between your eyebrows. Take eight breaths, shoulders away from the ears. You can also rest in child's pose if you prefer. If you haven't already, make your way into a child's pose. Arms could be back by the sides, forehead to the floor. Wiggle a little side to side to help loosen up your neck. And then lift your spine up and find either a comfortable cross-legged seat, half lotus with your right leg, or full lotus, right leg, then left leg. And we'll take an easy twist. So you can bring your right hand behind your back, left hand on the outside of the leg, or you can hold on to your right foot with your right hand. Four breaths. If it's okay with your neck, gaze over to your right. Four. 
And then coming back into the center, you may or you may not switch the cross of the legs. This is the traditional cross, but sometimes people like to keep it balanced. But if you do it the other way, don't force it if it's not happening. And then you can twist over to your left, maybe left hand reaches around the back, head just hold to the left foot, gazing over your shoulder, have a really serene face. One more breath. And then from here, Yogi Mudra. So you can reach right hand and then left hand to catch hold of your feet. But if this is a little crazy, you can interlace your hands behind you, squeeze shoulder blades in, and then stretch forward until your forehead touches the floor. Four Ujjayi breaths. And now come on up, seated meditation. Bring your hands into Yana Mudra, so it looks like the okay sign. This represents your higher self, your thumb, overcoming your lower nature. So in the practice of yoga, we're disciplining ourselves to focus on the breath, to clear the mind, and to create a calm state in the body, regardless of external circumstances. Stay here for four breaths. Make your inhale the same length as your exhale. Close your eyes if they aren't already. Look at the space in between your eyebrows. You can stay here or you can put your hands by your sides, lean forward, lift the hips up in the air, breathe really, really fast. <laughs> Sit the hips down, back into Yana Mudra, take a couple of cleansing breaths. As you're ready, extend your legs out long, lay down, deep relaxation, Shavasana pose. If your back hurts right now, bend your knees, pigeon toe the feet, let the knees rest against each other. If your back feels okay, legs out, flop the feet open, palms up by your sides. Relax the space in between your eyebrows, relax your jaw. If your shoulders feel tense, lift the chest, take your shoulder blades down the back, wiggle the shoulders a little bit. Wiggling the legs can help them relax. And it's especially important after a vigorous yoga practice to let the body rest, to take a little time to do absolutely nothing, letting the energy settle. So please, if you have the time, stay here another five minutes. If you don't have the time to rest, you'll roll over to one side and gently come to sitting up, hands joining at the heart, and we'll take three ohms. So you could either enjoy the vibration of ohm laying down resting or sitting up and this final nod to universal energy flow, which we are linking our consciousness to.
Thank you, yogis.